Everybody needs to quit being a baby. Everybody needs to quit being a baby. There's one thing I learned by now. So I fucking got it. I probably got it. Everybody needs to quit being a baby about it. Everybody needs to quit being a baby about it, Renette. Right? Stop. Everybody needs to grow up. What's up? What's up, Tamaya? Look, welcome, you guys. Welcome. Everybody needs to grow up. It's time to grow up. It's time to become adults and know that it's okay to play around and uh, be creative like the children would do and be those full beings. It's time to grow up into our full beings, you guys. Okay. That's how I feel. Welcome, Replay, and welcome, Renette. We're about to go do a cigarette. How many times is this a routine? How many times this will be the routine? Just a few more times. For a while, this is what Brother Dank did a lot. He like started thinking, come down, smoke a cigarette, and then we sit in the dark. I mean, this is this is the sanctuary where Brother Dank was born, you guys. And you know what? Before Brother Dank leaves, oh, this is so crazy, run it. This is seriously crazy, you guys. Before I leave this place, which is the sanctuary that I made for myself. You know, which you can make for yourself, anything like this, you guys. If you feel your space has been invaded or whatever, I'm talking about abuse and shit. No, man, you still got your space, dude. No one can ever touch your space, you guys. So I made this, like, sanctuary for me. And before I leave out of here, I'm inviting people to it. You know what I'm saying? This space will forever be sacred. You know what I'm saying? This particular space, no matter who owns this property next, quote, unquote. Um, and I'm just really proud of the fact that, like, before I leave here, not only did I make this for myself, but I'm going to invite others and, like, Anoint the whole world from this fucking space. It's weird, man. It's weird. Okay, it's good, though. It's, it's amazing. And also, it doesn't matter. As long as you have some space, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. As long as you have whatever space is around you, that's the only one that matters, you guys. Okay? And Rachel, I'm talking about, I'm talking about people got into my space and all this. It's only because we ever let them. You know what I'm saying? Don't let nobody into your space with anything negative, you guys. This is your space to be. Nice and chill and good, you know what I'm saying, you guys? And, like, to build yourself up and to, like, make sure that you can have a lot of fun, you know what I'm saying? That life can be, like, awesome and, like, joyous and shit and, like, to where it's, like, fun, dude. Like, it feels good, you know what I'm saying? That's your space, you guys. It's always your spot. It's your home. Cheers, Irish. Cheers, Irish Dragon. I'm going to follow you. I'm going to follow you. I'm already following you, Vaughn. You're an artist. You play many mediums. Clay is by far the favorite. Oh, you like that clay? You like to dig in? I like to play with them sounds, man. I like to play guitars and stuff. And uh, I like to... I'll do some poetry. I'll do some writing and stuff. All those are good. Like, language is a good one. Um, but then you already do silly. I did, but then, like, clay is a language too, right? You already do silly. Wait, did I miss something? I know we already do these things. But, um, man, do you have, like, a killing stuff? Do you cook it up? You? You? Oh, I'm confused again, but not really. I think we know. I think we know what we're talking about. But, um, anyway, let me go back to reading your profile. You also paint and work with metals. Okay, cool. You also paint and work with metals. That's good stuff. I, um, as far as visual arts, I got this app on my phone. That's kind of cool. <laughs> it's like a little sketchbook, right? Free sketchbook. And so, like, you can get, like, some decent colors and stuff and, like, throw a couple layers on there. And then I just kind of, like, let the forms come. And just as, as far as covering the canvas, that's, like, really my main objective is covering the canvas. So I'm working with uh, visual arts. Work with clay and then have it fired for me. Cool, cool. So you got, like, a community and stuff of people who are doing stuff, man. That's cool. That's cool. Say, fire this for me. Fire this up. You could probably fire glass in there, too. Hey, man, cool stuff, cool stuff. Very good, very good. Okay, that's good stuff. So, Vaughn, where are you doing this? Is this like, a, um, are you like a famous artist, all right, and you have like uh, people who work for you? Is that how it works? Or like, are you in a, a collaborative thing, or is it like the community kiln? How does it work out? If I had a back where I built one, I bet you would. Well, listen, <laughs> basically, um, 
you should have that space to do that, and you will have the space to do that, and you do have the space to do that. That's what we're talking about space. We were just talking about space. So listen, you pay for it at a place you sell it. Right, right, of course. Well, here's the thing. How much is a plot of land like everybody can have their artistic and community resources? It's not that expensive, and there's like plenty of room on the world. There's plenty of room in the world. It doesn't take a lot. All it takes is our intention and our work. <laughs> So I fully intend for you to have a, uh, your own kiln and your own space because you got that. 50 per fire? Oh, man. It's not very communal, is it? <laughs> That's not very communal, you guys. It's not very communist. <laughs> That's not very artistic co op -y, is it? <laughs> You know, that's what it is nowadays, though, and people are unapologetic for it. They make no fucking apologies for their selfish, fucking violent acts. They really don't. It's not fair. It's not fair. You shouldn't say that, man. It's not fair. Come here all the time. Catch me a break. Do a fucking group, uh, a Groupon or some shit. You know? No, but seriously, guys. That's why we're calling all our true loves in right now who understand this sort of thing, and we're building the space with each other, you guys. I, there's plenty of room in my space for your kiln. I'll make room for your kiln, sister. Do you understand? I've made room for your kiln. You need to make room for your own kiln. I think that's the problem. I think you're not making room for your kiln. Everything we need is here, you guys. Everything we need is here. It's not a complicated thing. It's not rocket science. And rocket science is a doable thing. We got computers now. I'll fucking, I'll fucking figure it out with computers. Give me a break. Not even a mathematically minded person, but um, I'll, I'll calculate jet fuel propulsions, and I'll also calculate how we're probably going to get obliterated if we pass a certain level, so we're probably never, not going to ever go to the moon with that. But um, maybe we'll do some clean propulsion. Maybe I could calculate that, given the proprietary information uh, uh, freely. Given the proprietary tools unleashed. <laughs> Well, with everything revolving around money, super hard. That's what I'm saying, you guys. It's 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 just a totally an illusion, though. And I know in real terms, you're like, yeah, but if we don't have money, then I hit the streets, and that's real. Well, you know what, you guys, you do hit the streets, and that is real. And then what? Then what? Let us prepare for these concepts because this money is bullshit. So what happens with it? Let's explore all the things, okay? Let's be all the things, and uh, until we're over it inside, you guys. Until we're over it inside. Once we're over it inside, then we can. We have the possibility in us to imagine other solutions, and when we're there, when we imagine the other solutions, which is imagining our material needs met, okay, envisioning everything we have and holding that, that is a technique. Whenever we can do that more, then money isn't a thing. And money isn't necessarily like a total evil because, you know, you know things by its fruits. You know, if somebody handed me a pile of money, I'd probably do something good with it, um, and I would try to piss on it and stuff like that, but, I mean, ultimately... Uh, you're gonna use that money. So and so, so this was challenged to me at one point. So at one point I saw like, the art. Oh, y'all hurt me if you follow this. One time somebody was like, uh, "Yeah, but you wouldn't burn money." People say fire burn money, but you would never do that. You wouldn't back that up. Well, here's what I would do. I would say piss on money, and what I would do is I would take like a, a million one dollar bills, and I would uh, do a, a world tour where I pissed on them all, and then I would take that debt currency and turn it into the bank for real money and put it in real money and give it to real people and stuff like that. But I would piss on it. And then I'd do a lot of good with it. <laughs> so if you guys want to see the million dollar pile of cash piss on it, let's do it. It's like an art project. Right, you guys? Listen, can we, can we file for grants and shit for this? It's going to be grant money given away to the homeless, ultimately, or whatever, uh, to housing first. Okay. This is what the million dollars goes to, or the billion dollars that we piss on. <laughs> Who's, come on, you guys. There's been no greater work of art this decade yet like that. Are you with me, Irish? Thank you. Thank you. I need, I need fellow artists. It's obviously going to take collaboration. I mean, I could just go and piss on it and stuff, but like, I need like people to help me haul the fucking pile of cash around and... Like we have to exchange the dollar bills every time because they're they're dirty every single time. We have to get new dollar bills. <laughs> yes, yes. All right. Okay, so follow me, Brother Dink, across all the platforms. You guys will really do this. We'll get a grant writer and all this. Um, 
on Twitter, and you can DM me on Twitter and stuff, or uh, Instagram, whatever you like. I prefer Facebook a lot of times, because you got Messenger on there. And I got my brother Dank on all these. But, um, what else? You draw my vid on Busker. I saw your vid on Busker. Did I? I did not see your vid on Busker. No, I did not. You busk? There's a Busker website? Are you, what are you, are you asking, are you busking out here? What's the deal? I didn't see it. Is it on your profile? Let me see. It's not on your profile. That's not how I know you. I just, you just walked in here tonight. We're just meeting right now. We just know each other like that. What's up, Danky Dank? Danky Dank. What's up, a fellow Dank, a fellow family. What's up, family? No, we just made each other tonight. What's up, Danks? Danky Dank 28. I like that. Hey, man, good name. Your mommy names you well. Oh, what's up? We're bringing out the healing of the nations, the end of every curse, redeeming the Dank for the goodness like it is. And um, also, I mean, Jesus does weed and everything. It's Brother Dank, man. It's your Brother Dank. What's up, Danky Dank? He's my little Danky Dank. He's my brand new Danky Dank. <laughs> oh, shit. Well, that's good stuff. You guys, you know Jesus is weed, right? Okay, Twitter then, yes. So look, we'll do it. Tweet at me. Your delivery service here in P-Town. What's P-Town? Is that Portland? You're delivering dank in Portland? That's good, man. But look, I'm talking about, I'm talking about, del I, I know this is, this is uh, like a transitionary time for you where you're like working in the field and stuff in a commercial sense, okay? You delivering rec or what? Are you on the slick or what? What's the deal with that? Give me deets. What's the deets on that? But also, dude, I'm talking about dropping off that free, that free pure. I'm talking about that free pure dope, just dropping it off. Just fucking bombing the neighborhoods with that free pure. That's what I'm talking about, man. Outdoor grow? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Outdoor grow? Okay, okay. I'm talking about, I'm talking about there's plenty of room in Portland for canopies of righteousness, okay? And in every neighborhood, there's plenty of alchemists. Okay, this is what I'm saying, bro. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, because Jesus is weed. Yeshua the Christos. Yes, it's weed. So this is the, our defense out in Portland as we grow in every neighborhood, man. And then all these fucking, all the little gang shits and all the little, everybody trying to struggle and shit is over with. It's over with, bro. It's over with. So this is what Medicine Owl is doing. This is Brother Dank. You want to follow Brother Dank. Let Portland know Medicine Owl is about to swoop through on the real tip, bro. And tweet at me and shit. Tweet at me about his PDX. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, tell me where you're at, Vaughn. Tell me where you're at, Vaughn. So, look, hey, bro. Also, look, thank you, thank. We be taking them donations, all right? Because what we're talking about is free medicine models. I'm rolling it out through the ONAT KM, Native American Church, all right? In the name of Jesus. And we're reaching out all the way back to Providence, Rhode Island, where the uh, religious rights were founded in America and stuff, <clears throat> okay? Province Rhode Island, so we coast to coast out here doing it. Arizona, let's do it in Arizona, baby. I hear it's nice out there. I hear it's nice out there. You do ask for donations? Okay, yeah, of course, of course. Well, what I'm saying is, like, we accept donations for the free medicine model to be handed out, to be given away, because we're going to be uh, cooking the dope. So more like a seed bank is what we're because we're trying to take a control over the grow to an extent, you know, but we also want to empower people to take control over their grows and stuff. In the winter only, it's nice. It's too hot. Cool, man. Cool. I'm saying let's work together, man. Let's work together out here in the open. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Let's call all these fucking, uh, all these little churches together in Portland and shit. Huh? Let's get everybody on the same page with this. Let's get everybody on the same page with this, bro. Okay? And let's get everybody out here. Because all this, all, dude, I'm over all this crooked suffering that's needless, dude. I'm over it. I'm over it. I'm ready for victory, bro. And we have a pretty strong case. We have a pretty strong case. If somebody comes out here fucking talking the Bible with some sense and shit and talking about weed and, like, bringing facts into play, I mean, it's got to have impact, bro. It can't not have impact. You know what has no impact? Doing nothing. You like that Fruity Pebbles? Nice, dude. Nice. 
Nice. I like a few strains. I like I like I like most most of them. Okay, you guys. Here's what we'll do. Stop me if I'm wrong. Here's what we're gonna do. Portland. <clears throat> Portland, you guys have some stuff going on, man. No doubt. And really, the little gangs and shit ain't really what bothers me. It's the fact that the government be working with everybody, and that's the fucking creepy part. You see my mouth. That's the fucking creepy part. Is the fucking government's role. <laughs> That's the really, like, disheartening part. But, like, I refuse to fucking be felt... I refuse to feel beaten down by any of that, Portland. I refuse to fucking let that shit fucking get me down. Man, it, they, there's been some energy spent. It's been very expensive trying to get me down, you guys. And everybody's hurting in Portland shit. They're wasting all this money trying to get me down. They're, they're spending all this energy trying to get me down. And it fucking don't work, okay? So here's what I want Portland to know. We're strong. All right, we're strong, and everyone who everyone who invested, you guys, everyone who invested in getting me down. Let me give everybody a round of applause. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Here's real talk. Here's real talk. Here's real talk. They tried on you too. Here's what. Here's real talk, man. Okay, now wait. Now tell me who tried on you. Was it was it like was it the local gangs? Was it the racist gangs? Was it the drug gangs? Was it the bike gangs? Or was it the government? Stalking presences? Was it the contractors? You know what I'm saying? Was it the was it the weapon? Uh, psycho. Maybe we're good. Okay. Maybe we're good. Okay. Or was it just like the criminal law system? Like what part of the government got you? Was it the secret part of the government? It's crazy down here too. I bet. I bet. Okay, but guys, we're so strong against that shit. That's what I want everybody to know. You know, all the investments that has been made in this uh, and this is violent, you know, fraudulent stuff. You know. We're so much stronger than that, you guys. And it, that shit is so much... It's weak. It's weak against us. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, they try to come against us with that shit, dude. But our intention's pretty strong against those pretty pretty sophisticated weapons. Okay? Our intention's pretty strong against it to be still standing. Okay? So, that's what I want everybody to know, you guys. We're so strong against it. And we are the solution against all this, you guys. Like, our true testimony. You know what I'm saying? Like... It's something that relies on lies to fucking hold any power. Something that relies on fraud to hold any power. And tricks to hold any fucking weight. Fucking doesn't stand for too long, you guys. It just don't. That's all I want y'all to know. Okay. That's all I want y'all to know. And you won't be deceived either. Trust your instinct on this. Trust your intuition. And if, if you have something inside that going on that doesn't feel right, and you distrust that, and you think maybe it's like the government like sneaking into your conscience. It probably is, you guys, because they can do that. And so I just want y'all to know. <laughs> just want y'all to know. Trust yourself on that. Trust yourself on that. Trust yourself with your suspicion. Trust yourself with your uh, jealous, uh, with your jealous, protective uh, instinct for yourself and your freedom and your being and your true self. You know what I'm saying? Uh, don't. Uh, don't let any fucking programming trick you. Don't let any fucking uh, influence, malevolent influence, uh, fucking masquerading as a truth fucking ever deceive you. You know? Like, you know yourself, you guys. You do. You won't be confused. All right. If they could even be confused, which they can't be confused. No sound. Okay. Is there really no sound? Are we having, oh, okay. Are we having no sound? Tell me how we're doing. Do we have sound now? We 
you might very well not have sound. Let me know, Vaughn. No sound still? I'll restart.